scroll my team coins, check out thefootshop.com. Their link is in the description below. And for a discount on your coins, use Nepo at checkout. What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to another player review in FIFA 15. Today we are looking at in-form Antoine Griezmann. He has got a transferred striker card now. I can't remember if I have done a 7 chem Griezmann video or not. Uh, he was someone that I was looking at to do. But the fact that he has now had a converted left wing to striker card through in-form... Um, it just makes it even better because no more 7 chem, he gets 10 chem. You saw briefly at the start of the video the team that I'm playing him in. It's not a magnificent team uh, by any stretch of the imagination. It's got a few really nice players in, but overall it's a pretty average team. And um, we start things off scoring a wonder strike on his weak foot. He's only got a three-star weak foot as well, but I actually score about four or five goals with the, with his weak foot. And that lovely little skill move, the, new, the brand new skill move in FIFA. And look at that, a finesse shot with his weak foot. Bangs it over the keeper right into the top corner. Absolutely magnificent. So before we get into the bulk of the video, guys, if we could drop a like on the video, it would be much appreciated. I do appreciate all the support you guys continue to give. Um, and, uh, yeah, if we could just uh, drop a thumbs up on the video, it would be absolutely fantastic. So the, the good things about Griezmann, um, first of all, for, for a striker who is actually one of the best strikers in, in his division, in the BBVA, because of the lack of quality in, in that division, in my opinion, um, for, for an informed Griezmann at 195 for, on both consoles, that's very, very good value for money. Uh, I do think his price will probably drop down uh, you know, over the next few days. There are obviously 15k packs. I can expect him to get pulled a bit more. Um, so by Tuesday or Wednesday when the new team of the week is out, um, I would expect his price to be at its lowest. But going forwards, because once again, he is one of the better strikers in the division, his price will stabilize and then gradually rise over the coming weeks and months. So if you do want to get Griezmann, pick him up now. Uh, the best things about him, he's got four-star skill moves, which is fantastic. He's left-footed. He doesn't have many traits or specialties he only has speed dribbler dribbler and acrobat but speed dribbler and dribbler as, as i've explained in a previous video are so goddamn important in this game for strikers because you, it just allows you such an ease to drift past defenders and you i'm showing you the teams i'm coming up against just so you can see i'm not coming up against teams with shit players i'm not coming up against bronze teams i'm not coming up against teams with 40 50 60 chemistry i am coming up against good strong gold teams with pacey sweaty players defenders attackers whatever you want and I'm still absolutely demolishing them with Griezmann. And look at that for a finish. He doesn't have the long shot trait. And uh, in fact, his long shots are only at 75. But that was a magnificent strike from distance. Um, looking at his actual in-game stats again, guys. Some of the most important things for me for when looking for a striker are things such as positioning, finishing, um, dribbling reactions balance and agility and he has those in abundance with exception of balance his balance is 72 his positioning at 92 is absolutely key in why i felt like he was just so good in this game because he is just always in the right position he always gets into the open space he busts the gut to get into the box he seems to drop into either in behind the defense to to kind of run onto it or he sits back and sits in the gap between the defense and midfield and he was just an absolute joy to have in a team he was always in the right place at the right time and as you can see on the left hand side i scored 18 goals with him in five games in 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 divisions in seasons you know and uh, that's that's the sort of numbers that I was putting up with Messi, Ronaldo, Bale and Robin, which to me suggests that he's on a par with these guys. And there's another right foot volley finish with Griezmann right there. He is on a par with these guys. And look at this for a team I'm coming up against. He's got Jovino, Higuain, Lavezzi in the team. Uh, you know, it's, it's a really strong team. OK, he's got Vidic in, in defence and Vidic is just a little bit slow off the mark. He's easy to dribble past with someone like Griezmann. Um, but Griezmann is just fantastic. You know, he's got 80 shot power, 85 finishing. He's got good volleys. But his most his his best aspects for me are his dribbling aspects and, and the fact that he has got that speed dribbler and that dribbler trait. It allows you to glide past people. Now there are a few negatives with Griezmann. Um, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say he's uh, he's all sunshine and, and whatever. There are a few problems with him. One of the biggest problems for me um, was that he is pretty weak on the ball. Um, what is his strength? Let's have a look at his strength. So he's got 63 for strength and he's only got 69 for physical on the whole card. Um, and he's not very aggressive either, so he doesn't really push. Def like if you're, you know, if you're running side by side with a defender, he won't push the defender off the ball. He'll always be knocked off the ball. Um, and in general, he gets pushed off the ball a lot. The other thing was as well that even though he has 86 pace and that's 86 acceleration and 86 sprint speed, he felt really sluggish off the mark. Um, when he got going, he was fast. He was rapid. He was uncatchable. But when you first pick up the ball with him, 
he was slow. You know, it, it took him a while to get into his stride. And quite often I lost the ball with him due to the fact that he was just a bit too slow off the mark. Now, I did manage to score a free kick with him as well, even though his free kick stats are atrocious. I managed to bang one in the back of the net. But anyway, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. So if there are other players that you want to see me try at striker, whether it's a striker, a midfielder, a winger, a fullback, a centre-back, or a goalkeeper, let me know on Twitter who you think I should do, and um, I'll try my best to get a video up and show you the best goals that I score with them. But for now, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.